in, in, in church, guess what? If the woman is sitting at the head of the church, did she usurp the authority over the man? Yeah, according to how you interpret it. That's the interpretation of the man. But you don't like that interpretation, man. I'm not saying I don't. But watch it. Our sisters need examples. You understand? They need to be seen as example. Guess what? We I have been an example for men. But the women need examples too. The women need somebody to show them how to walk in righteousness. And guess what? It's no accident that you came out here today. Right. Watch God speak to you. Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? That's what God is asking you. Are you going to rise up for him against the evildoers? Read. Or who will stand? God says, you're going to stand up for those that are having our people commit sin? He said he needs you to come and join his army. He needs you to come back and follow him. He needs you to show other sisters how to walk in righteousness. And this, what you see right now, is the first fruits of Columbia. We the spirit of the Most High God. We the men that put our lives on the line to come out here and teach our people the truth. And you, God is calling you for that. You understand? That makes sense. No, I'm crazy. Okay. Look, okay. say what you're going to do. I'll see you at 5 o'clock next Saturday. This Saturday. Not, not Saturday. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. 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 You said it. You said it now. A Saturday because I'm not going to hold myself to it. Yeah, I'm sure I got Watch this. Psalms 119 verse 59. Watch this. I want you to check this out, sis. Because you know what? We like to put things off. But remember, today is the Sabbath of God. It's a day of rest. Right now, you know what God is? We he has rest. his angels. Have, his angels, work. his angels are right around his camp right now. And you know what they're doing? They're recording everything that's being said. They're putting in the words in, in that book of life. And he's right now, he's sitting there knowing he's going to read this verse back to you that day. If you decide, you know what? I don't know if I want to serve God today. I'm going to put it off for the matter. Watch. Psalms chapter 119 verse 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I thought on my ways. You came over here, so let me see what these brothers are talking about. These brothers showed me I'm, from, I'm an Israelite. I'm from the tribe of Judah. They showed me that I'm royalty. They showed me verses where, you know, that, hey, me wearing pants is wrong. They showed me verses where I'm breaking the Sabbath on how to keep the Sabbath righteous. They showed me verses that, hey, we're supposed to come together and keep the Sabbath, keep God's holy days. That it's a day of rest. This is the day that we're supposed to serve God. So I turned my feet to the testimonies. And what? I made haste. He did. She, they gonna do what? I made haste. You either gonna make haste, or you gonna quickly react, or you gonna put it off. And delay not to keep thy commandments. He said he made haste to keep the commandments. So you understand that today is the Sabbath of the Lord. Today is the day we're supposed to worship God. And you gotta ask yourself, how special is it that I actually came out and they were real prophets coming out the Bible, telling me, you know what? Here's your opportunity to keep the Sabbath. Because I've been serving on Sunday. I've been serving this guy. Regardless, if you think you have or not, if you're celebrating on Sunday, you're serving this guy. But the, the Sabbath, of, uh, the God of the Bible, the God of Israel, today is his day. And guess what? He wants you to gather with the saints. Gather with the saints before what? Before destruction come. Give me that Zephaniah 2 and 1. Hello. Then we really got to go. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yay, gather together. Oh, nation.
nation not desired. We're the nation that's not desired. We're the nation that everybody hates. We're the nation that, that hey, the other nations put in slavery. We're the nation that they hid our God from us. We're the nation that when they stole our God, painted them white. They was white angels. This the nation that told us we was Gentiles. This is the nations that hate our guts. And God is saying, gather yourselves together, O nation not desired. Be, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. He said, do it before my anger come upon you. Guess what? If this was his anger before slavery, all the things that happened to us in slavery, our women getting raped, our men getting sodomized, our children getting raped, our children getting took from us and sold as slaves. If that was his anger then, how much more will his anger be because we didn't return back to him after he gave his, child, his son's life for us? How much more will his anger be? Now we're in the grace period where grace is running out. Time is running out. You know we're in the last days. That's why you came up. And we're in the last days, and God has sent his prophets to go, do what? To give you the word, to show you what sins you in. And guess what? We harden our neck, we harden our hearts, we turn in the shoulder, we don't want to hear it. Because why? It goes against everything that we was taught. It goes against everything that this man told us was good. That's the problem. We will not tear down the lie. The, the, of this image, and we won't tear down the lie that came with that image. Okay, so we got, I really gotta go. Go ahead. I never followed that man. Yeah, right we there. Never, but never. But guess what? Um, with that man came lies. Guess what? We're, our people are the example of the lies. Right. Guess what? That lie right here said the women can wear pants. That lie right here said celebrate Easter. That lie right here. No, no. I don't but do our people. No, I get what you're oh, saying. And I understand exactly what you're saying. That line right here said women can be over the congregation. Right. Okay. That's what came with that line. So, I gotta go. This is, this is, <laughs> you understand, so, sis? We'll see each other right. again. This hey, go. check this out. We have a stone over 1823 Greg Street. Hey, that's over there near Bunny Dick. Yeah, hey, we congregate about 5 o'clock. Every day. Come in hey, every Saturday. The Sabbath. Think about this right here. God said it's going to be one-third of his people that he's going to save. One-third. Two-thirds he's going to put to death because they refuse to uh, return back to him. Y'all yeah. speaking now, we're asking you a question. If that was against the law, we wouldn't ask you a question. Uh, yeah, we, so so he's, he's so actually got, talking about teaching. All right, I'm just telling you he's actually talking about, he's talking about, he's actually talking about being over men. Read. For it is not permitted for them to speak. But they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. Uh -huh. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. That's God. That's God. Give me that first Timothy uh, chapter 3, verse 12. That's the interpretation of the man. Who but wrote. you don't like that interpretation, right? I'm not saying I don't. But watch this. What did you interpret it to be, I'm to me? Because, listen. I only heard it quickly, and like I said, I like. All right, I'm gonna give you another verse. I want you, to, I want you to break this down for me. All right, I want you to hear this. First Timothy chapter two verse twelve. But I suffer not a woman to teach. What does that mean? I suffer not a woman to teach. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. Not to usurp the authority over the man, because he put. It's an order that God has. You understand? God has an order. God, Christ, man, woman. So he said he don't want you to insert the authority over the man. In, in church, guess what? If the woman is sitting at the head of the church, did she insert the authority over the man? Yeah, according to how you interpret it. Watch this. Give me the pastors of the flock. Numbers 27. Numbers chapter 27, verse 16. Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. Set a woman. Set a man over the congregation. What's the interpretation of that? The man that comes to the head. I get that. Yeah, he's, he's over the congregation, yeah, I right? I don't think you're talking about a man in the form of a male because the Bible speaks of a man and a mankind. Are there two different types of men in the Bible? Well, watch this. You understand what the Bible says, precept upon precept? 
He I'm said, he I'm said, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm answer, actually answering. I said, do you understand uh, what it means precept upon precept? Okay, no. Law upon law. So that was God giving you set a man over the congregation. That was a law. Here's the precept. Go back to 1 Timothy 2 and 12. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 12. Hello. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. That's why. Watch this. What happened? And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. That's the key right there. The woman committed the first sin. So because the woman committed the first sin, she can't preach in the church? That's what God said. I, so I agree with the part that the woman committed the first sin, but that's also because I also believe that the woman was the first person to be on. Do you do you agree with Do earth. you agree with when He said, "Let the woman learn in silence"? No. Oh, so you? I mean, you didn't agree with that. Watch this. It's, okay. It's can women can women I, teach other women? Yeah. Yes. Of course. You're trying to say so, women shouldn't teach other men. It's saying that but women shouldn't be over the understand. congregation. You understand? He said. I said a man over the congregation. Right. Now, now, here, here's now. Uh, think about it. The reason why I this wanna, is coming out. I got to. I, I would love to sit down and have a conversation with y'all because I need to go study. Hey, sis. You got to watch this. I'm going to give one last hear, verse before you leave. I don't want to be in a rush when I hear One last that verse. Sense. One last verse. And that's it. Give me Psalms uh, 111, verse 10. Psalms 111, verse 10, right? So you agree that you learned that it was laws that you wasn't keeping, right? Yeah, I, I agree okay. with that. I mean, All right, I'll praise you. We, we both in agreement on that. Yeah, you in agreement with that, sis? Yeah, sure. Okay, now watch this. Psalms chapter 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Do we agree with that? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Absolutely. So when we fear God, we're actually going to open up this Bible and start reading it, right? Read. A good understanding. A good understanding. So to have a good understanding of this Bible, you actually have to do the commandments. And you yourself said there's laws that you weren't keeping. So that's why you don't have a good understanding. So that's why God said first you got to learn the laws, statutes, and commandments, and then reprove the people. Because you'll be inside a hypocrite. If I sit there and go into a law and say, hey, you're out here teaching, but you're breaking these laws. You see what I'm saying? If we was out here wearing women clothes, we would be hypocrites in the sight of y'all. Y'all wouldn't listen. You know what I'm saying? That's why God commanded us to go out and teach our people the sins they're in by telling them that they're breaking God's laws. And guess what? It ain't, it's very simple. You come back to God's laws, and guess what? As you come back to God's laws, he will start feeding you understanding. That's what the laws are for, for your wisdom and understanding, knowledge. That's what the law is about. So when you're not keeping any of God's laws, because right now I can see you're not keeping the law of fringes, you're not keeping the dress, you're not keeping the Sabbath, you're not, you're not keeping high holy days, you're not keeping the feast days. I know these things. And guess what? Like, she got a head covered. That's a law. You don't got your head covered. That's a sin. See what I'm saying? I oh, didn't know that either. No, I. But we listen, bro. We not. We not. No, we're not, no. I'm just. I'm always. I'm always. No, I'm always. I'm yeah. always telling you that when yeah, we was we was once in the same place. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. That, that, that God also says the woman that leads the people out of Israel from out of bondage. Where does it say that? What is it? Is in our Revelation? It said a woman going to leave the people out of Egypt out of bondage. You talking about the woman in Revelation? Yeah. What? She leads the people, she leads God's people yes. out of bondage. She's referring to Israel. Uh, it's referring to Israel as a woman. 
That's what that's referring to. Jeremiah. You talking about uh, Revelation chapter twelve? That's 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 talking about Israel as a woman, not a woman gonna lead Israel. God raising up men. You see right now, sis. You see these men. I do. The prophets of God are men. The pastors. Yeah, watch. Please watch it. Read this. I'm gonna show you something. God is raising up men to do what? Teach you the laws. What what woman preacher taught you the laws? I actually have a pastor. Yeah, did she teach you the laws? Yes. You still got pants on. Okay, good. Is that a law? Again, I understand what you're saying. I mean, is it a law? Yes or no? I understand. Watch this. You trying to tell me I shouldn't? Let me ask you something. I know what I shouldn't do. No, but you trying to tell me I can't wear pants? Watch this. Seven out one and eight. Before you get that, watch this. I'm gonna show you something, sis. Remember, there's a law, right? When there's a law, there's judgment for laws, right? So let's see. What the judgment would be if Christ was to come back today? Because when Christ come back, is he going to judge our people? Yes. Right. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8 is a prophecy. And it shall come to pass. Meaning it shall come to pass, meaning this is going to happen in the future. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day of the Lord's sacrifice is what? Judgment day, right? Right. That I will punish the princes. What does it mean to be punished? Put to death. That's what it means to punish. He ain't gonna get no smack on the hand. When he punish, he's coming to bring what? Death, bloodshed. Wait. And the king's children. That's us. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. So all those in strange apparel, men with women clothes, women with men clothes. He said he's gonna put to death. Because why? Remember, we're under grace. That grace is a time period to get ourselves correct, to repent, right? Give me a little, uh, Luke 13 and 3. That's what the grace period is supposed to be for, for us to repent. And we got to repent. We got to turn our feet back to what? The testimonies of God, to the laws of God. So as you hear the laws of God, if you love him, what you going to do? Right. Luke chapter 13, verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except you repent. He said, unless you repent. Ye shall all likewise perish. You see, you're going to die. Y'all here for Saturday? We got a school that we, and we we come out every Sabbath to teach in the streets, but then we go back to the school. We teach out there. Um, like we hold classes. It's on the back of the fly. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.